everyone, Greg Tatum. Uh, I've done a lot of videos talking about my process for working with WebGL, and with them, you've probably seen that I've um, used Regal quite a bit. Um, and I haven't really done a lot of promotion or talking specifically about Regal. Um, it's one of my favorite libraries because it doesn't have any like big abstraction over it. It's a kind of um, declarative interface to using WebGL. Uh, and it kind of gets out of the way and lets you write shaders and pass data in and out. Um, it doesn't give you all the kind of whiz bang and tools that like the wonderful frameworks like 3GS give you. Um, so it's a different type of abstraction over everything. Um, and for the type of work I, I like to do, um, I find it very pleasant to work with. Uh, and so it's uh, regal.party uh, is the website and you can get all the documentation for it there. But what I'm going to do is get over to a, a, an example of how to actually use Regal from scratch. Um, the, the examples will be very similar to what's on the website um, for kind of the introduction, but you can at least have a human talk to you about the process of what that looks like. Um, and so for this example, if I open my editor, you can see I have this package.json file. And I've installed a few dependencies, mainly Regal. I've installed Budo, which you can also install globally. Um, this is going to be the kind of live reload server that's backed by Browserify. Um, so there's no big tooling setup. You just install a couple dependencies and, and get going. Um, I have a start script for npm, which is budo index.js. Uh, so super simple to get started um, and hopefully get up to speed quickly. So I'm going to run npm start. If you notice, it starts says a server is going to be running here. And ooh, you know what I forgot to do? Let's add dash dash live to make sure it live reloads to make our life a little bit simpler. And now you can see it says live reload running. And we load it up and we get a blank screen and console has no errors on it, which is exactly what we want. Uh, okay, but we don't see anything yet. Uh, we haven't actually done any work. So we'll go over to our index file and we'll take regal in and I'll require it which doesn't really do anything yet. I actually have to run it, run it as a function. And this, you can pass in configuration options, uh, but for the default um, settings, most of the time, especially when you're right, um, getting going for the first time, are perfect for what you need. Uh, so when I run it now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to the other side and pop it up a little bigger. Uh, now that I'm actually running it, you can inspect the page and it's got a canvas there. So this is one thing that's really nice is that there's a little bit of opinion there to say, hey, you probably want a full screen canvas when you're doing WebGL. Um, you can configure it otherwise, but the defaults are it will resize and handle all the, the logic there for you, which is nice. This is what we want. Um, but right now we have a dark screen. We don't know that we're actually doing anything. So the first thing we're gonna do is start using this uh, Regal instance, uh, which is a big polymorphic object slash function. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to clear the color uh, and we're going to define that color as an array of values, which is RGB of 0, 0, 0. And then the fourth one is alpha, which will do 1, which is basically like 100%. So it'll clear it to be um, a black screen. And you can see that's what we've done here. Um, and the next trick is to be able to get data in. Uh, so in order to, or rather to um, create a draw, draw call. So Regal creates a declarative interface. So you can describe what kind of draw you want to do. And you have a function that draws the screen. It configures the kind of gnarly GL state machine, which is not fun to interact with um, from the WebGL APIs. But it configures it for you and it draws and if you draw multiple things it, it diffs between them and then um, does the right thing. So it makes it so that you can just kind of like okay this is what I want to look like you figure it out how you make it and get into that state and track all of that. Uh, so it's nice because that is one of the most pain one of the very painful things of doing graphics programming is having to control the GL state machine. So in order to do that we're going to create a, a draw call which is going to be, we're going to take regal, and now we're going to call it as a function and pass it an object to configure everything. So if I save that now, we don't have any errors, and let's see if we can even draw, call it. 
Yeah, so now this is nice. We've got an error. It says missing vertex shader in command. So the first thing we need to, need to do to find a vertex shader is uh, provide the property and provide a string of what that shader source needs to look like. Now you could do some fancy stuff and um, split it out into a separate file and do all that kind of work. Um, but JavaScript has some nice new features with template tags where I can do those in line. And uh, so if I can remember what this, I'm going to cheat and copy this string because I never actually write it. So I do precision medium p float to start, and then void main, and uh, gl, I have to cheat again, gl position equals a vec4, um, and we'll just set it all to 1. That's not going to do anything useful yet, but at least we have like a vertex shader that's not crazy. Um, and then we're going to do a fragment shader, which again, we need to set the precision. Let's just copy most of this. Then do the GL frag color. Uh-oh. Error. Unexpected token. Always forget my commas. Um, and you can see, like, as I'm writing this, I'm just following the error speed to see the next thing I need to do. Um, Regal has done a really nice job of providing um, mostly sane error messages. You can get some that are cryptic, but uh, for a lot of the common cases, they uh, have done a great job with it. Uh, so now I'm going to say my count. I don't have any data yet, but it's going to be three. Uh, and now it's a black screen. Uh, so it's, we've, we've finally gotten to a place where we don't have an error, but it's not doing what we want. So we need to pass in some attributes. And for this, we're going to set up a position attribute, which is going to be an array of data. And I want to do three different values here. If you notice, there's no, like all the data types, there's no classes or instances of classes. They're all simple um, objects and arrays. Uh, and so with this one, let's see what we'll do. We'll do how about uh, negative 1 for the x, or maybe negative 0 0.5 for the x, and 0. Point, or, yeah, 0 0.5, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, 0 0.75 for the y. And then the next one we'll do the same thing, but not negative. And then we'll do 0 and 0 0.2. So now I'm trying to just describe a, uh, these commas, I always miss them. I'm just trying to just describe um, a shape here. So now I have the position, but I'm not actually using it yet. So I need to pass it into the vertex shader. And you can see how everything's in one place. So it makes it pretty quick to kind of wire this thing together. And Regal, like you're, a lot of it's focused on wiring data together. Uh, so we're going to take our attribute, which is a vec2, and it's our position, and we want to do the, let's see here, x, y, and the 0 will be 0 for that. And then we've, uh, and then we can set our fragment color now, which is going to be r, uh, g, b, alpha, so those four values, and they're ranged from 0 to 1. And I can start playing with that and change those values. Um, and so this is kind of the most basic example of creating a draw call. Um, so I, here, let me, let me put my clear. So I'm, I'm, I'm clearing the screen, and then I'm running a draw command to do it. And I've kind of written everything out from scratch um, just to show you kind of like the most basic example of how to do it. Um, in the next video, uh, I'll start going into how to start um, using uniforms and other um, values that you can uh, pass through everything.